Hello everybody, this is Baskur back again with another episode of Banished. I believe this is episode 18 now. Um, last episode I did a lot of time lapses, lots of cuts I think, um, that kind of thing to see if we can stabilize this town a little bit. We got some more nomads, got some traders, so I was able to get a little bit of food influx. Um, I also got um, some more sheep. Um, I was able to turn my trader or my teacher back on. Um, so we have students again. And um, we still have seven homeless people. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, we have a bunch of people still in the boarding house, and they may be why they're saying they're homeless. I'm not certain. Let's see, this person's name is Elwood Rowe. What a name. Let's see if Elwood Rowe is in the boarding house. Elwoody is in the boarding house. But not Elwood Row. So he's definitely not staying in here. And we have um, 42 homes, 42 families. So, like I said, I'm not exactly sure why. His families is a little bit of a misnomer, though, because I think if it's a single person, they're not considered a family, so that might be the um, discrepancy there. I'm not sure. Um, oh, we got another trader. Oh, have some food. Have food. Food? Oh, he's got chickens. Oh, well, you know we're not going to let that go. So, okay, so he's going to sit there for a minute. We're going to have to build another pen. Um, hopefully we can do this without, you know, dying in the process. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, so where are we going to build our chicken pen at? Um, maybe right here on the other side of the sheep pen? It was supposed to be my chicken pen. Let's see, I don't remember how many chickens he had. How many chickens did he have? I just want to make sure we build it. Okay, he's only got eight, so it's not that big of a deal then. Let's see, how much room was this one? This one was 13 by 13, and it was able to hold 10 uh, sheep. So I think 10 by 10 should be our minimum. Normally I'm not huge on the numbers. Oh, I said 10 by 10, it was 13 by 13, I think. Right? Yeah, 13 by 13. So we'll do, I think, 13 by 13 here. And I'll just leave that where it was at, that's fine. Oh, we have some flattening to do right there. You know what, I think I'm going to cancel this church. I don't think we're going to be building it anytime soon. And I am going to go over here tell it to flatten that, just in case it's not all flat. I know part of it isn't. And tell it to flatten that. Now our laborers will have to come by and pick up those resources. We're too low on resources to, uh, I think, to be um, just clear-cutting this. So we'll do this. Hopefully that'll. Hopefully this will get them to clear the land. And again, I don't know if highlighting it multiple times is actually doing me any good or not, but I'm gonna do it just in case. All right, let's see. We're back on two times speed in case anybody didn't notice or anybody cares. A little bit of lag here. Uh, seven, almost 2,000 fish that we're getting from this fishing dock versus, you know, like a thousand I think I've gotten out of this fishing dock ever with four people in it. So um, these are s definitely more efficient. And just think how much more efficient he would be as if I built this barn. Because um, right now he's probably taking all of his fish over to here. Um, so we definitely need to get some more of these guys up and going at some point. Not sure if I want to deal with that just yet. Um, let's see. Good, they're starting to clear this out. That's good. I want this to get flat. I don't want to have a lot of little hills around this area. We've got some more f flattening it looks like to do back over here too before we can do too much. Um, 
and we really, really need to get these homes figured out. Let's see, how are we doing on lumber? Can I still build the town of boats? Um, oh yeah, we still have a lot of lumber. Um, might also be worth looking here. We know we're going to have eight chickens at 500 apiece, so that's what, 4,000? Yeah, 4,000. Um, we're not going to have anywhere near enough of anything at the moment to actually buy those, I think. We're going to need a ton more stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase our um, firewood. Let's do 500 firewood. This is going to really cut us down a little bit, but we really, really need to get those chickens. Mm, I am also going to... No, no, I think I'm going to leave him right where he's doing. He was collecting the clay, but... Um, I don't think that's as OP as we thought it was, especially without uh, having a bunch of them. I think if you had a bunch of them dedicated to it, it would be fairly OP, but at the same time, that's a lot of people that you're using to produce clay versus anything else like food, so how overpowered is it? I don't know. It, it probably isn't in reality. And this duck blind down here is just not getting anything. So, let's see, I think we do need some more homes, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a dock home, I think. I would imagine a dock home goes that way. Yep, yeah, let's see, it goes like that. The only problem is, is if I do that, I'm not sure how that's going to affect the amount of fishing that he can do, so... I don't know if maybe I don't want to build... In fact, I may not want to build the barn, either. Possible to click on those things once you've paused them. I clicked on it earlier. Not sure how I managed to actually do that. And do that. I just want him to have all the farming opportunity he can. Whoop! build out this way and we'll end up with some more homes eventually, but for now I think I'll just leave it be. It's not building anything. Butcher and a student live in this home as opposed to a hunting... a hunter. I don't know why. Alright, back again. Put a cut in there. I forgot to set a timer for this episode, so I did that. Um, let's see. So we still need homes. Either way, we're not going to build them out there on the dock, but we are going to build some homes. And it looks like this has gotten done, so I do need to do this too really quick. You can just do that and that, and that's how you flatten. See that the ground looks like it's good and flat now, so that's good. We don't have to worry about doing that later. Um, the cemetery is virtually full. I think we had another one over here. It's pretty full too, so we need to probably think about getting another cemetery in. Um, I also want to get rid of this stockpile. It's going to be in our way. And, okay, so we got a place to put our chickens now. That's good. Um, I don't think we have any way to actually purchase those chickens yet. We are still way too... I could just buy a few chickens, I guess. I don't really like that idea, though. I want all those chickens. That's really going to help out with our food. Um, okay, let's see. We need... to build some homes, and we still really need to fix this food situation. As you can see, this number just keeps going down, so it's... It's not stabilizing at all. Um, this guy, these guys are making firewood both, so I think I still have plenty of lumber to do town of boats. So I'm going to do a couple of those someplace. Get some there. Um, maybe we want to start building some over here. I'm not sure. I'd really like to... We've got our cotton. Maybe I should be thinking about putting in our plantations, and I think our plantations would be good right over in this area. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to plan for that. So let's do that, but I don't really want to build homes over here just yet. Until I actually have the plantations in place. So let's, uh, yeah, plantations. I believe plantations will work exactly like farms do. They just only grow plantation crops. Um, let's see. Maybe... Maybe like 11 by... Uh, 11 by 8? I'm not sure what the good sizes of these things are. I, I've seen lots of people say, well, it's this way, or no, it's this way. I've never really seen a good way. So I think we're just going to do some here. Let's see, how big did I make that? 9, nine by 11? 8 by 11. So I think we have enough here. We're going to put in 3 of them. And I'm going to go ahead and build roads. And I'm going to mention it right now. Um, I don't know when or how I'm ex exactly going to do this, but uh, be watching on the channel. I'm going to do a game giveaway at some point in time. I bought me a bundle... Uh, uh, pack of Steam games, I think Humble Bumble or one of those, uh, and uh, there was only like two games in it I was actually interested in, and it was cheaper to buy them that way, um, and there were like four or five other games, so I got some games that I'm not interested in having, they're like first person shooters, things of that nature, the games I haven't really even heard of, but um, keep an eye out on the channel, because I am going to give those away in some fashion, when, I'm not sure, but we're going to do that. Ooh, we got people being born, people coming students. Okay, I'm not as scared as I was in the last episode. Uh, th that last episode, I was really, really concerned that um, we were not going to survive this and that we were going to be starting a new town. I am glad, glad, glad to see that I am wrong. Okay, so we need to clear those out before I can actually do that. Or what I can actually do is I can cancel that. I think I can draw Roadstrom once they're canceled. Yep. And then they'll just remove them for me. So I'm going to do that. And I want to put homes... I want to put a barn, probably. Um, let's see. A market would be probably pretty good too, because the market doesn't really reach over here. So maybe instead of a barn, maybe I build a small market of some sort. Uh, a rural market? Oh no, that's tiny. Or not tiny, that's huge. <laughs> small market? That would fit there pretty nicely. I think I'd rather have it up here because I need some of that overlap. So let's do let's do that. That's a good place for a market, I think. And we need to get a. I think I'm still going to build a barn. Now I really want to build one of these magazines. At some point, they'll store a ton of stuff. Um, but I can't build those just yet. They need the specialized items there. Um, cotton um, is a dry good, so let's try this. Too many regular barns. Let's try this one. That would fit really nicely right there, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's put that there. And we need to build some homes. We're going to need at least three homes. What kind of homes? I don't want to build the salt boxes. Definitely not those. We've got wooden homes. We can build some stone homes. We haven't built any stone homes. Um, and our lumber's probably getting pretty short here. Nah, we're still good on lumber, so maybe I'll put in some town of boats. 
Count of Bills holds four people. I don't know how many a stone house holds. Probably four people. Yeah, we'll do this. I'm gonna build them... kind of on the edges here, because... We're gonna go with four. And we still have plenty of homeless people, so... We need to try to take care of that situation. In fact, I'm still not sure why they're homeless. I don't know if we literally don't have enough. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, I don't know if they're really homeless, or if they... Or if it's like a bug with the nomads or something, maybe? Okay. Uh, yes, cotton. Um, I think we're just going to do one per because we don't have enough laborers at this point in time. How many students do we have? Oh, we got 11 students. That's good. So we're going to be getting some people hopefully before long. Let's see. How are we doing here? Oh, we got a ton of firewood now. Um... To get rid of the other stuff before firewood. Whoa, that's my steam. Some of these key combinations I forget about. Oh man, we still need 880. So let's do this. down the number of chickens we're getting. I think two shy is not so bad. Okay, so it's worth mentioning that if you don't have some place to put your chickens or your animals that you buy, they'll live right here but for a very, very short time. Um, because you're, it's the way I understand it was is your trading post guy is not going to take care of those chickens, so they just die. Um, so you want to make sure you're watching that. Um, but we already have a place to put the chickens, so this shouldn't be a problem for us. Apparently there's a little bit of a bug there. Click through. Um, okay, so we are going to go ahead and trade for the six chickens. We might try to see if we can't get those other two chickens. I'm not sure. Um, no, you know, actually I think I'm going to leave it be. I think... Oh, that is my timer for this episode. But I think we can actually go a couple more minutes here. Because I had a pretty good cut in there. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him. We got the chickens now. We'll just breed them on our own. That chicken up and going. Um, I was originally going to run a road up and through here, but... I guess we'll do something else there. It's okay. Doesn't need to be totally uniform on how I do this because that'll just make it look a little too mechanical. So, you know, mechanical might not be the right word, but it, it just won't look natural. So I'm going to build that in there like that, and we got a road, single road going this way. Um, let's see, how are we doing over here on honey? We're making honey. Candlers are making that. I think we really need to build another candler. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start that before I end the episode because, sure enough, I don't. I won't remember to do it. It doesn't have to get finished. Oh, that's not too bad. What do you guys think? Right there? It's gonna look like that might be okay? Definitely do that. It's close enough, I think, to our apiaries that that'll work. Another option might be right here. No, nope, won't fit there. So, yeah, I think we're going to build it right here. And I think I'm going to build this as a double road. 
And I will put in a small, let's see, maybe a fuel stockpile. Might be a good stockpile to have right here. I think that'll work. And we got a home up and going, and it did take care of it. So apparently we do just have some homeless people in there. I'm, I'm guessing single people maybe are just not considered um, families. Um, maybe they're all male or something. We'll, we'll see if we only get one male in each one, maybe. That would be pretty bad, actually, if that was the case. Um, okay, real quick here before we end the episode, let's take a look. We produced almost 2,000 fish here. Produced not quite 1,000 here, but um, I think in mid-season I increased, so maybe that'll get somewhere up in the right vicinity. Did it our duck guy. Okay, he's actually gotten meat. He got 200 meat this time, so that's better than the other one's doing, so 160 is not the cap. Let's see how this one did this time. I'm still just 160. Um, how are we fixed on our hunter here? He's doing pretty good. He's collecting more feathers now. That's good. Um, these guys are doing alright. Log cutters are cutting and planting. Um, we still have quite a bit of people living in our bordering, our border house. We'll have to get that taken care of at some point here. Luckily we haven't seen any diseases, but we do have a hospital if something happens we do. And he's cutting logs and doing this. We might decide to put a hunter out in this area at some point in time. That might be a good idea. Our food is certainly not stabilized, I don't think. Let's take a look here. We produced 9,000. We've used uh, 7,800 so far. And we're only in autumn, which means we have winter to get through yet, so we're probably still behind. Although last year it says we did produce more, but keep in mind that that production was because of um, that production came at the cost of purchasing from traders, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. So if you're watching, I'm clicking this until I get a question mark up here, which means there's too many people at it. So I just want to make sure all of my uh, all of my markets have their full people on them again. This apiary is doing good. This apiary is doing good. We need more beeswax. Um, we're starting to build this candler here. So as soon as he gets up and going, we'll be able to start producing more candles, which will allow us to fill this up a little bit better. Um, probably need to go ahead and think about building some more shore houses or something as well. Um, they haven't planted yet, but I expect they can't plant in autumn. That might be the case. Um, anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, if you like what you're seeing, click the like button. If you don't like what you're seeing, click the dislike button, but let me know in the comments why you don't like it. And if you do like what you're seeing, please think about clicking that subscribe button, and I hope to see you back again next time for another episode of Banished.